Hey, good morning. Well, it's finally the day where we are going to bring the cows in and start sorting them. I'm gassing up my four-wheeler here to get going. World's Greatest is still getting ready in the in the house, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I've got a small group that I call kind of the brush animals that I had to beat out of the brush and have got them in a separate pasture, so I need to go and get them first. Then by then, Lisa will be ready and we'll head down and start uh, the process. We're as ready as we've ever been with the facilities. So hopefully all that's set up. We'll see how it works and uh, and and let y'all see how it works to kind of see just how prepared we are. But I'm excited to get it done. It's one of those things that you do, you know, every year. And it's one of those things where you spend lots of time preparing. You spend lots of hours uh, not sleeping, thinking about if you're prepared or how you can prepare more. And then you do it and hopefully everything goes well. And if it doesn't, you mark down, okay, I need to update that before we do it again. So that is where we are headed. So let's get going. There's a bunch of cattle up here at the gate ready for me to open the gate and I'm not going to do it just yet. I don't know if you can see any cattle way down there coming. I want to be patient and give them all a chance to get up here before we start moving them towards the pens. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes, and most of the cattle are here now. Lisa's on the other side of the creek, waiting to fall in behind everything. So I guess let's get to work. Again, you know, I drove over what I thought was just some dirt. Turns out there's a some kind of a cross timber under there, and I'm high centered. I just uh, I'm on foot now. Hurry! Come get the gate! I'm coming! <laughs> now Brett is on his own, and he's screaming at me. If he wouldn't leave stuff in the pasture for me to run over, it would help. Oh, brother. He'll say, I'm not screaming at you. I'm just yelling so you can hear me. <laughs> Whatever. Close. 
and my suggestion is if you've got good movement to the pins don't stop to close it just keep right on moving them and and you'll go straight in the pins with them that was one of the things that when i got up here we had a problem lisa got stuck and so when i got up here i saw that they were going in the pins and i mean they were running in the pins and so i just kept on going and i hollered at her to come shut the gate and she was having a hard time hearing me but she finally got it and she went up there and shut the gate so we got them Looks like we made it just about right, just judging by looking from right here. They got a little room back up in there, and then of course they got a little room right here where I'm standing right now. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Okay, if you watched last year, what you're seeing is you're seeing the gate that's kind of in the middle. That's where the cows and little babies are gonna go out. To the left, that little gate is where the bulls are gonna go out. So Lisa has to get all the other gates shut and that one open. To the right is a bigger gate. That's where the heifers are gonna go. And those are the big heifers. These are the big bulls and the big heifers. What we don't want is we don't want Lisa to have to stand in the middle of a gate and stop a bunch of cattle. The biggest thing we're trying to do is number one, get the cattle sorted, but number two, don't get anybody hurt. Ideally, what you want is you want a bunch of one type to come so Lisa doesn't have to change the gates. So you want a bunch of cows to come or a bunch of heifers to come or a bunch of bulls to come. Sometimes it's okay to just have one of those come at a time. But it's bad whenever I let two different types get by me. So I'm trying to hold everything back and let cows come out first because they want to come out. They know the routine. They know where they're going. They know what to do. And I start calling at them. And so they know to come. The calves, they don't know what to do.
this is from a different direction. So from this direction, the bulls are going to go to the right. The heifers are going to go to the left. And then the cows, we're going to bring them and they'll go straight by. So they'll go straight out this end towards the camera, along with small babies. watching this because you want to see Mashona animals, all of these calves are half Mashona. She been crazy. 98% of them are half Angus, half Mashona. This is the group we've been looking for right here. Yeah. There, that's it. It's the last. There's the, there's the rest of them. Done. Bull calves. Heifer calves. All right, let's get the rest of them. cows back out to pasture for the day so they've been all day without eating so it's well I guess they've been eating on the pickings a little bit in the trap but they haven't had water so we're gonna get them out and then we're gonna take care of the rest of our chores this is always the best part of the day right here sending them back out to the pasture <laughs> I'm glad I went down here and checked because I've got a poly wire across the fence and one of the oil trucks ran through it while we were sorting. <laughs> 